Morning, morning. Hey, ladies. Hello, Mr. Coco Puff back there. Ooh, looks like you guys buzzed through some spaghetti squash. Wow. Woo. Was it good? Was it yummy? Yes. Don't even try it. I know that the hubby has been out here already and fed you, so don't try to sucker me into anything. Right, Lula? I'm not going to fall for it. I may give you a treat. I'm not sure. Hey, look at you. Feathers are coming in nice. Oh, Cocoa Puff. Yes. How are you, sir? I see. Very well, I see. Yes, you are doing very well. Anyway, but you are getting your feathers back. How nice. Look at you. Filling out a little something, something. You might want to try to put on a little weight. Just, I don't know, you look a little thin compared to these guys down here who are clearly getting the majority of the food. Puff, where are you going, buddy? You gonna crow for us this time? I know I didn't give you 15 minutes of fame there. I was just, I was just so impressed with the feathers coming in on this lady here. And hey, Maybelline, as always, you are on point. Yes, girl. Yes, I love the winter attire. Very nice, very nice. I love the blending of the colors. Yes, the winter white. Love it, love it. It's fabulous. It's fabulous, girl. You guys are so on point. Ooh, girl, somebody hitch, pooped on your back? What girls? Really? You need to stay clear of this rod. I don't know if you know about it, but this rod right here, this this roosting bar, you perhaps would should not go underneath it. I'm just trying to give you some advice. Do not go underneath the roosting bar when people are above you. Okay? All right, but you have a good day. Don't let this ruin your day. Don't let it ruin your day. You know what? Just shake it off however you do you on that straw and there you go continue on girl continue on sometimes our days do start off a little you know mm, like that but you know shake it off and keep on going you guys are just like whatever right right yes how are you you are looking fabulous eglatina look at you yes I love your winter white as well. Very nice, very nice blending. I love it. I love the tones of gray. Is that what you're bringing in for fall, winter 2019? Shades of gray? I like it, girl. You are working it. Yes, and all you other lovely ladies in your attire, yes, I'm loving that. I love the, the burgundy, the deep burgundy reds. Yes, yes. You all are so on point with your attire right now. So on point. Yeah, who needs to go to Paris? No one, exactly, exactly. What? Really? Well, you know, Paris is nice this time of the year, I hear, I don't know. I went in the summer. Thank you. Anyway, ooh, ladies, ooh la la. You look fabulous as well. Let me give you your props. I love what you're doing with the stripes. Ah, what has happened to you now? Oh, oh no, no, I can't. That will be cut out of the video. Wow, ladies, can you stay away from the poop zone? That's just gross. Hey, Lula. Oh, no, don't put your head, guillotine. I've told you this before. Stop putting your head in things. There, there's the tray there, you see? You don't need to do that. That's not even necessary. That's what I should, I'm gonna put that back on top. I should put that back on top. You are so right. Who knocked it off is my question. Mm -hmm. You don't know? I'm sure you don't, conveniently. Mm. Oh, let's take our temperature since we're here. Oh, I know there's so many other places that wish they had this temperature, seriously, because there are numbers that I'm hearing are yeah, really low. Yes, it's beautiful. I see some dust. Thank you, Mr. Coco Puff. I knew you would come through for me. I knew you would not leave a girl hanging. Can we get another one of those? Do you mind? Oh yes, please turn. Please turn. Let's get the full, the full facial. No, you're you're done with that. You're not doing that. You're not. You're not, you're not, you're not going to give us another one? That was just, okay. 
You threw him off his groove. Stop pecking him. That's rude. He was trying to give us some crowing. I guess that's not happening now. Okay. We got a couple. Thank you, Mr. Cocoa Puff. Who laid an egg by the water dish? Oh my goodness. Let me go in there right now. Right now. I cannot believe it. No, I'm not in here with a snack. Who has decided this was a good place to lay an egg? Who? Mm-hmm. I'm surprised it's not pecked. Thank goodness it is not. Wow. Come on now. Y'all have these fat... Thank you, Mr. Cocoa Puff. You have these fabulous nesting boxes over here. No, I won't be getting those right now, but thank you. No, you're right. I'm gonna leave those because I can see you're looking real peckish. Okay, <laughs> and not in that way. I mean, peckish as in pecking my hand. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, ladies and Mr. Cocoa Puff. I gotta get to work. Lots of things to do today. Thank you, thank you. I will do that. I will have a great day. Thanks. See you later. I have been remiss, y'all, and hey, Zeusy. Hey, Zeus man. What's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Zeusy? Your face is dirty. I'll wash it later. Okay, let's take a look. As you can see, they are starting to die back, especially this one. This one's one of our bigger producers. So that's kind of good because, like I said, I have not had a chance to come out here. Um, we know that we're going to try to overwinter them, but we don't know if they will or not. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, as you can see, they're still... <laughs> well, the Jing Orange is still going like crazy. I guess they're trying to catch up with the, the height of the, the Mondo one over there. Yes, I'll show you that one in a second. But look at the Jing Orange. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. So there's still some that are continuing to grow and flourish. But we definitely still have this super tall one right here. Oh yeah, that is up there. Look at the stalk on that one. That is like, you know, a small tree. Wow. That is awesome. This is the east side of the garden. This is the southeast corner of the garden. Oh, look at the little bird. Mm, so cute. We are at the southeast corner of the garden. And right here, we've got, I remember I moved the compost bin here, but now we're trying something new. The hubby did some uh, research and he is trying what's called trench composting. So basically what you do is you dig trenches in your garden or wherever it could be a raised bed or whatever wherever you want to do the uh, trench compost and you see that one's already filled in a couple of filled in here you see some of the stuff up the top here we'll put some more dirt over that but basically what it's happening is you're literally taking everything from the kitchen all your kitchen scraps as far as your vegetables and things like that and your peels and things like that throwing them in a trench which he's got one dug right here so you're tossing all that in a trench and then you're just covering it up and then in, let's say, um, some people say as soon as two weeks, but I would say most likely four to six weeks. It's all depending on a lot of factors, as you know, the heat, the temperature, the water content, all that. And also your, your soil content, what your soil is made up of. But basically they're saying in four to six weeks you can be planting in this area. So that's what we're trying right now. We still do have our compost uh, bin here, a little framed in deal. So we are still doing that, but we're trying something new. Trench composting.